Hello folks and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do it now and hit the bell icon to get instant updates. For today's project, I'm using a 4.5mm crochet hook and double knit yarn. Starting our work with a slip knot, secure the knot on your hook. Make odd number of chains. Once your foundation chain is ready, go into the second chain from your hook and make a single crochet. Make one single crochet in each chain. You should have an even number of single crochets. Now to start the next row, chain 3 and turn your work. The chain 3 here counts as the first double crochet, so we're not going to work in the first stitch and we're going to skip the second stitch. In the third stitch, make a double crochet, make two more double crochets in the next two stitches. Now yarn over and we're going to go back into the second stitch which we skipped, insert your hook, Yarn over from the back, pull up a loop. Pull the loop long enough to cover the three double crochets and then complete your double crochet. Now skip the next stitch and then make three double crochets in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Now yarn over and go into that skip stitch Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. The loop should be long enough. And now yarn over and complete your double crochet. So again, skip a stitch and make three double crochets. Repeat until you reach the last stitch. In the last stitch, make a double crochet. Now chain one and turn your work. Make one single crochet in each stitch. Make the last single crochet on top of the starting chain 3. To start the next row, chain 3 and turn your work. This is going to be our pattern row. Again, skipping the first two stitches, going to the third stitch and make a double crochet. Make two more double crochets. Now yarn over and go into that skip stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull the loop long enough and complete your double crochet. So this is a repeat of row 2. For the entire pattern, we're going to repeat row 2 and 3. Repeat this until you reach the desired length of your project. If you want to increase or decrease the width of your project, you have to add or subtract 4 stitches as the main pattern takes up 4 stitches. So increase your stitches by 4 or decrease them to achieve the desired width of your project. So here's my finished piece. I accidentally did 2 single crochet rows and then the last row so you can see that the diagonals are on the other side but that gives a nice option. You can always try different variations. So if you like my video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.